I invite you to stay in this video in order to learn about the parking brake system, taking the Boeing 737 as reference. When we are putting in function the aircraft or doing whatever in the airplane, one of the first things we do is check whether it is locked while we are making an inspection on ground or we are setting up the airplane for flight. The parking brake's operation is not limited for the electrical system. I mean, it works, although the aircraft is in cold and dark condition as you could notice around. Let's suppose that I'm pressing the pedals to brake. I keep the pedals pressed and then I pull the parking brake lever up to set position. This parking brake lever has a switch under this set of components and this switch is mechanically actuated when we pull the lever up to set position. In set position, 28 volt DC power comes from the head battery bus located in the PC's panel. The current gets to the parking brake suit of both. This is a limit switch transducer and works in this way. In this moment, the suit of both is open. These small coils represent the field widens and this circle the rotor. When the valve electrical motor energizes, it closes the valve and the transducer gets down the contactors, placing them in that open position. Now the positive signal follows away until this relay. The coil gets down the contactor. A ground signal is sent to the anti-skid auto brake control unit. The parking brake light comes on taking the ground signal and feed itself with a positive one that comes from the battery bus. The small bulb uses this ground signal when the parking brake lever is in release position and we want to test it. It is a kind of push the test button. So now whether we are going to unlock the system, we pull the lever to release position. The valve opens and at that time it finally opens, the transducer place, places the contactors in open position. Just right here the airplane is free to be moved. By the way, when we mention that the parking brake system is not limited by the aircraft condition, it's because the power source used in this small system is the main battery, which is directly connected with the system through the well-known head battery pass. When the aircraft is completely energized, you see the light turn on and turned off by the movement of the lever. We could talk about more details, but we are trying to specify only the electrical functions in the series. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you have gotten all the information given. Please don't forget to subscribe on YouTube channel, follow the Facebook page, and see you next time.